Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So in this session, we will see one more activity in Gmail under uh, Z Suite activities. So let's open this Gmail folder. So if you observe, we have an activity called send mail message. So just drag and drop into our designer panel. We'll see how we can send the emails from UiPath Studio to a particular email user. So as we can see, a error message is throwing. So cannot be outside of uh, this suite application scope. So as it is a mandatory activity, just search for it and uh, I can drop into the designer panel. So I'll place this same main message activity inside this D block of uh, G Suite application scope. And here, if you observe in the G Suite application scope, we need to configure the authentication credentials. So as I am using the auth client ID, so just we need to configure the auth credentials here. Just copy this and paste it here. And in the same way, the client secret as well. So now the error will be deleted. So as you can see, the send mail message activity. So while sending the emails, so we have used simple transfer mail protocol. So there we use this one. So where we can send the emails with attachments or without attachments or we can send to the CC users and BCC users in the same way we can also send the emails with the help of uh, this uh, send mail message activities as you can see the properties so here we have the input fields so like BCC, body, CC, subject and group so here the two is the information which contains uh, the recipients so which are in the form of a string array so we can configure n number of emails here and in the subject line just need to mention the subject so just I mention it as a action so and in the body I will just mention so it must be in the double quotes So I configure like this and if you want to configure any CC or PCC you just need to mention the emails of the particular recipients and if you want to attach any emails so you just need to set these attached files and it is a collection of attachments so you just need to provide the attachment so just like the closing from these attachment files here you can see this attachment list attachments okay so in the two field i will provide one email so this is something like new learnings new at the rate gmail.com okay. so it is showing some other let's see so as it is saying as we have given a string so it is asking for one dimension array of string so which is nothing but a single dimensional array so for generating that array we can directly create a variable or we can directly mention in the form of array here so in the flower braces if you mention the details it will consider as a single dimensional array suppose if you want to send to multiple emails so we can like and give the mails like this abc at the rate yahoo.com so like this it will accept the string array elements mails and so that's all for this now and here in the configuration scope as we have discussed to show you the activities if you on the if you click on the auto detect it will detect the application scopes automatically and set it as you can see here and so and another thing here is so options are available here if you want to just send the email you can just select this as is html so the mail will be sent as a html page 
or if you just want to send it properly just send it as it is and let's run this now Execution is started. So the execution is also completed. So let's check our two box. So here we can see the second let me refresh this. So here we can see a new email is received with the subject as UA path connection as we mentioned and with the subject body as well we can see here and in the attachments we have placed an attachment which is nothing but the project JSON of uh, this particular project so here we can see all these details so and as the address is not found so that's why we showing some other messages here and if you observe here as well so from Leo learning CEO. So as I use the uh, authentication details of my email, so that's why it is showing as uh, learning CEO Leo at gmail.com in the from field and the to field is the thing that is user. Okay. So and another thing, if you want to save the email as a draft, so you just need to check this is draft so that it will not send to the user. It will be stored as the draft message in the particular user. So I will remove this uh, learning layer of form. So now I want to send the email to is abc at the aho.com and I just want to draft it in my draft folder here in this drafts. So currently I have only two mails. So let's check now. So execution is started and it is closed. So let's check the graphs. So currently we have only two. Just refresh it once. So now we can see this email with your file connection. Hi, welcome to Leo. It's showing here as a draft. So here we can see the recipient as with PBC at yahoo.com with the subject line. And the attachment is also available. So as we configured here. So it is showing here, and if you check the inbox, refresh it again as well. So here, uh, any mails uh, you have connection, we just have the only one mail which we have sent earlier. So two mails earlier, and so like this we can use the same mail message activity if you want to draft the emails or if you want to send the emails from the Airpath Studio. So this we will use this uh, same mail message activity. So that's all for this session. I hope you like this video. Please do subscribe to our channel and please like our videos and provide your feedback in the comment section. That's all for now. Thank you.